All right, guys. I'm today. I'm working on a 2017 Ford F-150. Um, this one has the 3.5 EcoBoost with the turbo. I am replacing the oil pressure switch or a sensor, you may call it. So I started using a YouTube video from one of the Ford techs. Uh, he makes you go through uh, all of these, removing the turbo pipes and all that. So before you start, don't remove any of this stuff because you don't need it. Uh, all the tools that you need is, are 14, um, 14, 10 for the battery. Then I'm using a 516 to remove some of the pieces on the bottom. I think uh, eight or nine will probably work. Um, and then you will need uh, 516s um and a socket uh to remove the oil pressure switch so let me show you what i'm doing um so initially you know just a word of advice um which i should have followed this i started following the video started taking all of this stuff off um which i think is very unnecessary because you got to get into all these tiny spots to uh remove the uh, turbo pipes while well, you could just use some yet jacks i have jacks on both sides um and so all you have to do is i'll just show you how simple this it is this is uh, so you don't uh have to i understand the bottom is a little bit dirtier but i'd rather do this than having to remove um all these pipes so uh, once you get this cover off i just want to show you guys here real quick so so far only thing i have done is remove this cover on the bottom right there which was the 14 bolts uh that one goes there one go there and then two in the back which are the eight or nine or which whichever one i use so once you get this cover off guess what it's you got your pressure switch right there check this out and then i already loosened this look at this i mean why do we need to go from all the way to from the top I mean, I was kind of baffled by that. Um, this is, uh, yeah, that was crazy. I mean, I, yeah, I just couldn't believe uh, how simple it is from just going from the bottom and just lifting the front end of the car up and uh, just removing that switch. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's all it is to removing the old pressure switch. So this is your, this is a sensor right there. I'm gonna go ahead and pick one up from the dealership. I could definitely see some oil before I took it off. Uh, was uh, on there. More than likely, that was my issue for the oil pressure light coming on. Yeah, just I'm just kind of baffled that I started from the top and you know when I was uh, at a point to remove one of the 10 millimeters for the turbos, I realized I said, hey, why am I doing all this work? When I could just remove this bottom cover you know and yeah sometimes i think it's always uh good to look at multiple videos and uh that was a learning lesson for me so to put it back will be reverse order i'll put the switch back push uh the wire connector in and then just cover on and that's it there you go thank you for liking uh, thank you for watching uh please do like and subscribe i'll make more of these videos if you guys do support thank you